Before we get started in this lesson, um, I forgot in the last lesson to save. So make sure you change the title to lesson four. And this description I put as organizing with tables and functions. And then make sure you save lesson four. Okay. So now let's do lesson five. So I'm going to change this to lesson five. And in lesson five, we are going to talk about jumping and gravity. I'm going to go ahead and save now before I forget. Okay. Okay, so let's start with um, changing our move code to just move left and right. In platformers, usually we have um, the ability to control our player left and right and then jump. So up would be a jump function. You can choose to use the up arrow or um, one of the other buttons. So just as a reminder, on a gamepad, the A and B buttons correspond to Z and X on the keyboard, and the X and Y buttons correspond to A and S on the keyboard. And then um, up here, we can see that they correspond to uh, four, five, six, seven. So Z would be four, X is five, a is seven, I mean, A is six, and S is seven. So if you wanted to use one of these buttons instead of the up arrow, you can totally choose to use those numbers instead. But I'm going to be using the up arrow, so we're going to be using button zero. All right, so we're going to be refactoring our move Bobby code here. Um, I'm going to completely get rid of the Y movement for now. Um, the X movement I have left and right. I'm going to be refactoring this quite a bit. So just kind of follow along and I'm going to explain here in a bit. So we're going to have an if and else if and an else. So this is going to be our move code. Right here will be move right. The else if will be move left. And the else will be to stop. So either we're moving right, left. Oh, that's left, right. Left, right, and stop. So left is negative, right is positive. Um, but before we get into redoing this code here, I want to change something up in the players table up here. So we have a speed constant, so, oops, so we know how fast the player is moving, but it doesn't really give us any information about what direction the player is moving. So you might remember from physics um, that speed is a measure of how fast something is going but without direction and velocity is a measure of the speed plus direction speed and direction so we're going to do a velocity in the x direction we're just going to leave these at zero for now oh i'm going to need a comma at the end of this comma at the end of that and then velocity in the y direction also equal to zero. So you can use different names. If the X and VY isn't intuitive to you, feel free to use velocity X, velocity Y, or whatever names make sense to you. I would recommend keeping an X and a Y in there because it is um, helping us know horizontal and vertical direction. I guess you could use horizontal, like H for horizontal and V for vertical, if that made more sense. Okay, so now that we have the velocity set up in this table. Let's use that in order to um, kind of refactor this. All right, so if we press button two or the left arrow, then we want to set the velocity of our player to be the speed in the negative direction. So I'm just going to do negative one times speed. 
Okay, and then if we press the right arrow, which is button three, then we want the um, velocity in the x direction, so horizontal velocity, to be just the speed, so positive speed. And if we want to stop, then, or if neither button is pressed, then we shouldn't be moving. So we're going to set the velocity in the x direction to be zero, and that'll make us stop. All right, so we can't, we're not going to quite move yet. So if I test this, I'm trying to go up down, nothing's happening. That I would expect because I took out my um, y values, but x is not working either. Left right is not working. So let's take a look at why that's happening. Um, so in this move blobby function, we haven't actually um, reset the value of x. So I changed all my x's that were here to be velocity x. So we still need to update blobby's position. So we're going to need blobby.x. Looks like I'm indented a little too far there. And we want the x position to be the original x position, which is blobby.x, plus our velocity. And that will take care of the left-right movement because the velocity is just the, um, the incremental movement. So like if it's 1, it would be 1, or if it's, you know, if the speed is 2, then we're adding 2 to the position. Um, but this thing that we did here with the negative times blobby speed, now Vx, if we add, um, oops, blobby dot Vx, this number will either be positive or negative depending on which direction we're going. Okay, so so when, no matter what direction we're going, it'll either add or subtract correctly. Or if no button is being pressed, then we will stop. Okay. Eventually we're going to want um, to add in the y value here, but we'll come back to that after we do jump and gravity. So now let's go ahead and test and make sure that our x direction is working again. So let's run. So now up and down should still not work, so I'm pressing up and down, nothing's happening. But left and right do work. And our um, sides still work the same way as they did before. Okay, so next we want to do um, gravity. So let's add a little bit more room here. And we're going to update the y uh, blobby dot vy, so the vertical speed or velocity with its direction is going to be the original speed plus gravity. Okay, so we haven't actually set gravity yet, but we will in just a sec. So every time the game loop runs and calls our move blobby function, um, the the y velocity or the vertical velocity is going to change by a little bit. So each time it's changing a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. So it'll get faster and faster and faster as it goes down. So up here above the tick function, we're going to add a gravity constant. And this gravity constant is something that would apply to any character or potentially an object if you wanted your objects to be falling. Um, like if something got pushed off of a platform, then maybe it would fall. So we're not going to put it inside Blobby because then it would apply to Blobby. We just want it to be, or your player, maybe not Blobby. Um, we just want it to be a general constant. So I'm going to put it outside of my player table. And I have experimented with this a little bit, and it feels like 0.2 is pretty good, but you're welcome to play around with this number and find a number that works well for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this and see what happens. So it looks like our gravity is not changing. 
I can still move, up and down still don't work, and gravity is not doing anything. Do you know why? Just like before, when our uh, X didn't work, it was because we had not updated the position, right? So we still have to do that part. So now it's time to say, I guess I could just copy and paste this. That might be faster. Blobby dot Y equals the original blobby dot Y plus the vertical velocity here. Um, Gravity is positive because as we're going down, remember it starts at zero and gets positive, bigger, 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 bigger. So our gravity is positive and that'll make us go faster down. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Okay, so it's going to keep getting faster and faster um, until maybe it crashes, I'm not sure. So what's happening here is we are getting faster and faster every time. And then our check limits function is checking to see whether our character has gone off the bottom of the screen and popping him to the top. Or maybe for you, maybe it reaches the bottom and stops. But for me, that's not happening. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add some code in here that is either jump or uh, stop or gravity. Okay, so I'm going to set up some comments in here, and then we'll talk about what happens for each of those sections. The three sections I want are jump, stop, and gravity. So I'm going to do this in um, sections so it doesn't get too confusing. Um, I'm going to start with an if for the ground level, and then my uh, gravity will be an else. And then that's not forget later so let's add in the end right away okay so for my ground level I want to know when my character is going to reach the bottom of the screen so originally I said okay well if my character if my character's y value is greater than 128 because my vertical value was 128. So let's try that. Oh, I need. Then I want my lobby dot vy to be zero, and that will stop the vertical movement. So if my character falls off the screen, then I want it to stop. Or as soon as it gets to the bottom of the screen, I want it to stop. This didn't work, but let me show you what happens. Just the same as before. And what I realized was I actually need to go one character height back, so to 120. And then it will stop. So what was happening was I was allowing the character to get to the 128, which is the point where it popped to the top of the screen. And I needed to stop it one length before that in order to not let it fall off the bottom of the screen. So let's take a look at the next section so now i want to jump if we're on the ground so this is going to be an if and this is going to now be an else if um so if we're on the ground and we decided that um once we hit the ground the velocity is zero so for now i'm going to use lobby dot v y oh my god dot v y is equal to zero and to check whether something is equal we use a double equal sign so if the vertical velocity is zero and we are pressing the up arrow or the, the up arrow had been pressed so and button zero and this time, instead of just button, we want button press. Um, later in our code, if we just have btn without the p, um, it's possible that we might be able to spam the jump button. Um, right now, it's going to be fine. But uh, 
we should probably code it the right way from the beginning. So the button press is, was the button just pressed? Not, is it being pressed? Okay. Um, so if we're on the ground and the upper arrow is pressed, then we want blobby.vy to be the jump velocity. So jumping would be going up, which would be a negative value. I played around with some numbers. 2.5 seems about right, but again, play around with it. See what numbers you like, what number you like. Um, and you could do another variable to represent this up here, like we have gravity. You could make a jump force variable if you wanted. Um, I feel like since we're only using it for blobby, I don't I don't really see the need to make a variable for it because I don't think other characters will necessarily use the jump force. So let's go ahead and test this. So I fell down, that's good. I can move left and right. Now watch what happens when I jump. So I'm pressing up, pressing up, and there I go. So what's happening here is it's kind of getting stuck in that adjustment that we had to make between um, the 128 at the bottom and the 120 where it would stop. I'm not gonna worry about fixing this right now because we're actually gonna use platforms. Um, we're gonna have a real floor on the bottom instead of trying to rely on the size of the screen eventually. So I'm just gonna leave this for now. Jumping works, left and right works, um, and we'll come back and add platforms in another video. So for now, let's go ahead and save. Seven, five, okay. Um, and then next time we are gonna talk about projectiles and having Blobby have um, things that he can throw at, at other at his enemies or whatever. All right, we'll see you in the next video.